tied in Christmas, the heart of forgiveness. Harold is a principal by profession, and his wife is an infant school teacher. So, there is nothing strange about them being home for the Christmas holidays. A normal family would consider this a blessing, but not this one. For them, Christmas is the most uncomfortable and painful holiday they have to endure. Six years ago, their young son was killed in a car accident on Christmas Day, and Harold was driving. You can imagine how difficult it might be for a family to celebrate the birth of God's son on the same day they lost their only son under tragic circumstances. But the head of this family has a very important lesson to learn about love, and it will take a visit from three angels representing the past, present, and future. Harold believes that he can hide from Christmas by locking himself away in a specially designed room in his house for days. But can he really hide? Can any of us? there isn't he and why why do you let him do it like it's been six years from yesterday, but we decided to stop by Mr. Wallaby next door first. Well, let's just say he has a lot of stories to tell. Hmm. Well, you know, you had to give it up unceasingly, but only if he has found the willing ear to do so. Well, I guess he did. My name is Rachel, Hi. and this is my daughter, Melissa. Hello, Melissa. I'm Beverly, and this is my daughter, Samantha. Oh, hi, Samantha. Oh, they know we don't want to be your brother. It's okay. Yeah. Girl, get girl, get Wait, Greg, you're not thirsty. Um, I think... Oh, so sweet of right. you. Right. Wow, that's a beautiful Christmas tree. Oh, my Rachel, just oh. wait and see. Hot. When it is fully decorated, it will be so beautiful. So, do you always put it out this early? 
Yes, without a rush on the case, I will not find the time to do so. I think I should take a page out of your book. Listen to me. If you need me to come over and help you, I will be willing to do so. Okay. Mm. You know, I couldn't help but notice that picture over there. Very handsome. Yes. You know, once upon a time, my, my husband was a part of the picture, but something happened and it's just my son over there. So, they're not here? Well, my husband is here, but... <laughs> so why are you crying? What's wrong? <laughs> my son is not. So, is he away at school, church? <laughs> What's up with you? No, he's dead. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay, Rachel. There is absolutely no way you would have known that my sweet, sweet boy is going to be with the Lord. You're so right. Yeah, here you go. Thank you, ma'am. So, mom, I was just wondering if I could take Melissa here on a tour of the neighborhood. But Samantha, you told me that you were going to come and help me decorate the tree. Yeah, but... No, I said, don't worry. You know what? I'll help you. Please, 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 please. Okay, then it's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Hello, Samantha. Come and get the glass. She have hands in her. I'm pretty sure she. Yo, Excuse me. No, I never said nothing, bro. I never said nothing. Teenagers. Have no manners, I tell you. Oh my God. And them, and I remember those days as a teenager, you know. But I don't think I was that disrespectful. To help you with your tree, you calm down. No manners. Calm down. But, you know, I couldn't help but notice that you were wearing a ring. So, are you married? I'm not sure. <laughs> Rachel, come on now. There is only one reason you're wearing it if you're married, you know. So it is either you're married or you're not. Well, I went to the church with Melissa's father, and I took the vow and all. He, he went to Canada on a business trip, and I, I haven't seen him since. So he doesn't call or anything of that sort? Occasionally. And you don't try to find out where he is in Canada? Sir so, so Beverly, can I ask you something? Uh -huh. Why should I, huh? Look at me, oh! Look at me! Something wrong with me? <laughs> you know, I don't think you really want to talk about this, do you? No, not really. I know that feeling. We always have something that we don't want to talk about. But let me just leave this right here and let me go and give you a tour of the neighborhood. See oh, that sure. Melissa that song and, and Samantha are gone. Let me give you a tour of the neighborhood. Okay. So, okay, this is my area yeah and the kitchen is around that okay. side and later on can you, can you bake yes can you bake what can you bake i bake anything man just what is anything just give it to me Rachel, and I what is anything it. don't worry anything Beverly, don't worry harold's first angelic encounter a visit from an angel of the past Why does your first question have to be most irrelevant? Why am I on this coach? Still irrelevant. What is this? That question is so okay, not specific enough to be answered. Listen, I am supposed to be in my room and the door is supposed to be locked. 
to keep people like you out. So why am I the one being locked out? And why am I? But that still don't make any sense. Listen, can you please tell me what is going on? Why are you in my house? And why on earth are you in a red? Let's have a little chat. Chat about what? Have you ever heard a story about the man called Ebenezer Scrooge? Ebenezer who? Ebenezer Scrooge. Scrooge? I can't say I have. Really? Yes. And you have never read the Christmas Carol? Listen to me. I am a principal for a school. But let me tell you this. I don't read much. Really, Harold? Yes. And you have never watched the movie? I don't watch TV. You know, they, they, are, they did a remake just a few years ago with Jim Carrey playing Mr. Scrooge. What is this about? <sighs> That's too bad, Harold. Would have made my trip a little more condensed. What, what, what is really going on? Wait, am I dreaming? If I should answer that, I would say it's a combination of both. Oh, that is a beautiful Christmas tree. Whatever. <laughs> Scrooge would have said, Baham Bug. Baham who? Never mind. I am here to take you on a journey. A journey to where? Into the past. I'm not coming anywhere with you. Oh, really, Harold? Yes, really. Stop. I am in control. That's right. Now, I said I'm here to take you on a journey into the past. Okay, why? Why should people have to relive their past? I don't know. Because they forget. Forget about what? There can be no present without the past, and there can be no future without the present. You, for instance, have been reliving this day now for the past six years. The angel gave Harold a glimpse of his past. Oh. oh, Jesus. Where you going, Dad? Wait. Sean? Um, yeah, it's me. That's my name. Uh-huh. Aren't you supposed to be in the back picking the breadfruits off the tree? Eh, scared of heights. Listen, I'm going out. No, 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 no. What is it, Sean? I want to come. Come where? I tell our teacher to drive later. Well, I'm the young man of but the house. I am the young man of the house. I want to know where you're going. Sean, I want to know it? who's coming in the house, who's coming out of the house. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Go grab your coat. Jeez. God. Sean. Yes, sir. Don't let me spit on the ground and oh let it dry. Oh, my God. I'm going. <laughs> it was all my fault. <laughs> the man who hit your car, Harold, was drunk. Drunk? You call that drunk? Drunk, Harold. Yes, we're drunk. Intoxicated. I understand. But the question I would want to ask you is, mm -hmm. what would you do? Yeah. What would you really do? If you saw that man today, the angel gave him a second glimpse. This time, of a familiar family. That's him. That's the murderer. Help! 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 Stop! What? Is Stop! That? He's you, right here! Help! You cannot touch him! Wait a minute. He's right You cannot touch him! Why? Even if you wanted to. I'm tired of this. <laughs> Sit down, Harold. Yeah. No. Watch. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. His name is Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. All right. And that night changed his yeah. life. He became a born again Christian and now a strong advocate against drinking and driving. I don't care. I don't care. He took he my He now has a wife and a son. A son? A son. He has a son? A son? Shh. Honey, what? where have you been? I've been looking Sit. for you. Honey, what? oh my gosh, you're looking real nice. Woo. All right, honey, where's Sean? Wait, what did he just say? 
Yes, Harold, he named this son up for years. Sean. This is driving me insane. You know Sean. Uh, he into those arcade games. I can't possibly get him to leave now. All right. Well, look, there's no plan now. Sean, we have five minutes because we really need to go now because you know how came on traffic stay. You're right, Emma, you're yes. right. But, you know, I hear talk at church that they want to make you a deacon. I hear so too. But I don't want the thing back. is, He's a why would they do that? Why do you want to make it? Well, because you have a servant's heart. But honey, all I want to do is serve the will of the Father, you know? Save as many lives as I can because that's all you can do in this life right now, right? But there's no higher calling. Honey, but listen. Look, I've done so many bad things in my life, right? Yes, like killing my son. Things I cannot undo. Things that I can't change. They're just irreversible. I know. You still wake up in the night screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, and it's always the same dream. It's okay. I wish, I wish I could free you from this pain. Honey, you don't understand. You've done such a marvelous job so far, right? <laughs> I don't know what I would do without you. I have a few ideas. What is it? But, what would you do if you saw that father today? Well, you know, I would just have to embrace him and ask forgiveness. <laughs> No way! I will never calm forgive down. I will calm never down. forgive you! Calm down. Never! Calm down! But look, honey, you know, right? The odds of ever meeting that man, right, in this lifetime is a million to one. Maybe I'll meet him in heaven or I will something. never forgive you! I will never forgive you! Never yeah, forgive you! What did I just say? Maybe I'll meet him in heaven or something, you know? Maybe it just an only then he has to forgive me. He will. But right now, don't you gotta go get our son and go home. It's right. been a long day. Sounds like a plan. Do you want me to name them out? Fine. You see this? So, he took my son, and God gave him a son. Where is the justice in that, huh? What justice? The justice he gave. God my... gave grace and mercy to each host to. Do you think you're the I have only not. one who has ever lost a child on Christmas Day, Harold? Listen to me. I have heard enough. Shut up. <laughs> there was this one man who wanted to kill one baby and slay thousands of innocent boys. Who do you think those parents felt? I don't care. And like I said, I have heard enough. Keep, so we me up from this Keep your voice down. I am in front. Keep your voice down. Who? <laughs> now, you can't seem to forgive. No. But you're always asking for forgiveness. Not me. You hypocrite. Me? Sick. You call me hypocrite? Hypocrite. Really? You cannot forgive. I have had enough of this. Oh, to God, asking for forgiveness. I have seen enough of this. Just wake me up from this dream, please. Wake you up? Yes, wake me up. Stand up, Harold. So where up! Are... Get up, Harold. As I said, I am in control. Fine. And anyone who's going to leave is going to be me. Really? So you are That's going no to That's no problem with me. I'll throw you out. You are going to sit and listen and watch everything I have to show you. What do you have to show me now? Sit. Harold was taken back to his own commitment, one he made about his family. Let's go closer. Harold, isn't he beautiful? Oh my God, very beautiful. Our own special gift from God. Yes. Miss being born in Christmas. I just a few days, baby. I, I just didn't time it properly. That's why. <laughs> oh my God. Honey, you know, 
I was thinking about Samuel. Really? And how his mother wanted a son. Mm -hmm. And she prayed that if God bless her womb, mm -hmm. you know, that she would give him back to God. Yes. Such a noble thing to do. Very noble. But I know it couldn't have been easy for her. Not easy at all. You know? <laughs> but, Harold, mm -hmm. would you ever do such a thing? <laughs> wait, wait, look how long we're married now. Do what? I am an idiot. All right, fun and joke aside. so funny. Sorry, sorry. The most logical answer to a question like that have to be yes. But honey, why would you ask me such a question? Nothing, Harry. Mm. Baby, look, he's smiling. Oh my God, he has my gums. Oh my God. <laughs> Black seam <CM> wear. <laughs> oh my God. Honey, huh? he's getting a little bit rough. You didn't feed, her, feed him this morning? So, I put the bottle out there waiting for it to be warm, so I'm just going to give it to him, okay? Okay. All right. Bye, baby. Bye. Remember, it, it's the white man, Lasko, right? <laughs> okay. It's a little bit of a people, child. I'm so, oh, okay, go on. Go on. <laughs> Did you mean it when you said yes, Harold? Really? Mean it? No. I did not. You a liar. Really? So you just look at your wife and lie. I, 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 what, Harold? You know, it's easier for everyone to receive from the hands of God than to give back. Wouldn't you all agree? Yet, he gave his own son to be tortured and killed in your place. My place? What about another place? <laughs> Where are you I am talking about you, Harold. So wait. I was saying, it is easier for everyone to receive from the hands of God than to give back. You sitting out there, would not you all agree? Yes. Yet he gave up his own son to be tortured and killed in your place. That is what Christmas is all about. The entrance of God into this world of flesh and blood. To suffer and die in your place. So we it. <laughs> Keep your hands down. This is what it's all about, huh? <laughs> Christmas? Christmas? Mankind can be so ungrateful. Very ungrateful. This is a lesson about love, Harold. Which lesson? What it is and what it means. You and you need to learn. You don't understand. As others do. You don't understand. You need to learn. As others do. That Harold sometimes, sometimes love is not just always about holding on, but sometimes it's about letting go. How can I let go? He took my son away from me. You wouldn't understand. You never put me at the angel. Harold, I do understand. But sometimes, Harold, you cannot always hold on to the things that you love the most. God gave his son for you. <laughs> You know, that this is, is what Christmas is all about. It's not what you always make it about. It's not about the food and the clothes. He took my son. And the house. Day. It's not he even about your children. I forgive. He took my son. Away. What if God did give his son for you? Would you be talking about a son now? <laughs> Carol, you have to learn to forgive. You can start learning to forgive. Letting go of all the things that you have stored inside. Like the hatred and the bitterness and the pain. Forgive Harold. Just as you would want God to forgive you. Forgive. Okay. Who are you? Who are you? 
I'm the angel of past things. What is that you cook? Well, I cook some oxtail, I rice and peas, and some mixed vegetables, and I bring a, a big, big bottle of water to wash it all down. Make sure it's in a salt like the last time. Baby, you're trying to tell me I can't cook? All right, enough. Let me help. I'm very hungry. Hello, Sister Samantha. Oh, hey, Pastor. How are you? Uh, I'm fair to fine. Fair to fine? What does that even mean? It means I'll be fine for now. Uh, well, that sounds so much better. Um, <sighs> yeah. Are you cooking dinner? I was dinner? just washing up the dishes. So you're saying that I'm late for dinner then? I know I should have left out early because this traffic is terrible. But you know what? That's fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. <sighs> is there anything I can get to like, make up for I you? thought you'll never ask. You know what? Can you just get me a Diet Coke? I'm kind of watching the waistline, you know? Yeah. <sighs> Wait. We don't have a Diet Coke because we're not currently watching our waistline. Oh, excuse but, like, me. Mm -hmm. You know what? What else do you have? No sugar. Yeah. Right. You know what? Just get me water. That's fine. Yeah, but what kind? We have Fiji purified mineral light, um, aquafina. You have tap water, the one regular from the fridge. You know what? You said Fiji? Yeah. That's the best water I could ever have. You're confusing me now because we have room temperature and cold water and ice water. I don't know which one the man of God prefers. You know what? Room temperature is fine. Mm -hmm. With ice cubes? No, just room temperature. I can do that. Okay. Ask so many questions. A lovely home. Beautiful Christmas tree. All right. Oh, that smells good, though. Lovely home. High ceilings. Chandelier. Mm. My, my. Thank you very much for dinner, honey. Thank you very much. Just the salt. Just touch it up a little bit next time, yeah? You see how this man disrespectful? He tried to give him a nice plate of food and he comes talk about how the food is stalled. I'm sick and tired of this man. Hi, Bishop. Uh, I didn't uh, know that you were here. How are you doing? Let me get help you right here. Thank you so much. Hey, Bishop. Uh, so nice to see you. Is, is everything okay? Sir, everything is perfect. Beverly, one thing I know for sure, your cooking is immaculate. So thank I'm not you, sure. Thank you, sir. But... Put fun and joke aside, though. Is everything okay? Really okay? Come on, Beverly. Tell Sir. the truth and shame the devil. Sir, you know, I was really hoping that this Christmas would have been different, you know. But it's more of the same thing. Calm down, my child. Listen, I know right now probably this is not the best time for you. Because Harold has gone into hibernation again, isn't he? Yes, sir. Does he really think he can hide from Christmas? Sir, he's convinced enough to try and hide himself in there. <laughs> there comes a time in a man's life where we have to move past that passive approach to a more forceful one. Listen, I am his brother in Christ. 
and I will take this charge and speak to him on your behalf. Sir. <laughs> you can't stop me. Sir, I don't think God can save me from this. Delay. Listen, I have been through hell and back, both spiritual and physical. This warfare thing is, is hard, but Harold, he's one too easy, man. He's easy. I'll take care of him for you. This time you go, go hell and not come back. Listen. <laughs> Sir. Listen, I'm his Sir. pastor, and he will listen to me. I guarantee it. Sir, listen to me. Beverly. I'm his wife. He's Beverly. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Bishop. I must speak to him. All right. Let's okay, watch. Yes, sir. Go right ahead. Harold, get out. Harold, I'm not even in the room. Leave me alone then. Harold, I'm coming in. Okay. I'm coming in. Harold. What a bright. Didn't I say to get out? Harold, listen to me. We I need to, to talk. Get out. 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 Get out! Beverly, mm -hmm. you are right. <clears throat> Nothing really has changed in the past six years. Hmm. I just think he's only like that only one or two weeks out of the entire year. Otherwise, not he's the perfect husband. Do you guys even talk about what happened? Sir, we talk about everything else except this. Beverly, that's the first problem right there. That is the first problem. We tolerate each other better if we avoid bringing it up. What queer Jesus? Tolerate? Beverly, do you think God tolerates sin? Do you think God tolerates situation in church? But no, he doesn't. Let me hear it. Let me tell you why. The only way we can solve or to be cleansed is to pray the communication line between heaven and earth. And the only way to solve any, any relationship issues is through communication. I guarantee that. You know, communication, communication. Hey, hey don't be mocking me now. Sounds very good in theory, but we are the ones who have to deal with this, and this is how we decide to deal with it. Listen, put everything, everything I'm telling you right now into practice, because wait, the Lord has spoken. Beverly, Beverly, look at me. Yes, sir. Are you trying to tell me? that you blame Harold for what happened? Of course I do. Who else am I supposed How to How can you blame him for being hit by a drunk driver? Do you say, hey, yo, brother, hey, hit me tonight. Do you think that happened? God. Beverly, come on, here. man. You know, <laughs> God, last time I checked, you know, sir, uh -huh. he was on the phone. Everybody's on the phone. And he was on the cell phone with you! And Sean! <laughs> Sean wasn't even wearing his seatbelt. So, it's very nice of you to bring up a topic when you are the one that's the accident. What me, am I coming down about? Me? What am I coming down about? My boy is not here with me. But here you are, Beverly. feeling so nice Beverly. to come and do all this Bev lovely preaching. This is not the church, sir. This is my home. And I didn't invite you in to preach. What, what's going on? Bishop was just about to leave. I can't believe this man. It's okay. Sick and tired. Beverly. Beverly. I know what you're facing right now or going through is it's the, it's the hardest thing. <laughs> to lose a child is heartbreaking but Beverly I know God I would appreciate it if you would keep your hands to yourself thank you very much how can I get my message across to when your back is turned to me send a message outside Beverly 
please, I'm asking of you, just to look in yourself and see that God is working everything for your good. And I know it's hard. You're the only one can go into that room and talk to your husband without being bowled at, punched in the face, kicked and all. You, you can save your relationship. You can save this marriage. I'm begging of you. You know what? Come to the seminar. That's what I'm going to have in the next couple of weeks, okay? I'm not coming anywhere. Beverly, I hope to see you there, okay? I'm going, I'm going. Samantha, I would love this Fiji water, This man is so good and out okay? of order. <sighs> Feels like he can come in my house and just preach to me like this is the church. Wait, Mom, why are you crying? Are you finished washing the dishes, Samantha? Yes, but that, that's not the... Just do what I tell you to do, but I stop being a nuisance! I'm sorry. Samantha, I'm so sorry, baby! <laughs> <laughs> My life was perfect! <laughs> Why give us the gift of children and turn them away, God? Why? <laughs> Why, God? Why? <laughs> so sad. My sweet boy is gone. Whoa, you're looking like a big bowl of thumb, you porridge. Hi. Woo, you look like my wife. Well, I am your wife. Really? Yes. <laughs> Wait, this is not a dream. Carl, you know that sooner or later we're going to have to face up to this. You can't keep doing your foolishness every year, you know. Well, uh, didn't we already have this conversation? Carl. You know, you need to stop locking yourself up in that room, you know. It is having a negative influence on our daughter. I feel very strange. Harold, are you listening to what I'm saying? Or are you trying to avoid me? No, honey, no, I'm not avoiding you. It's just that we already have this conversation. And I feel very stupid. I have to go over it again. Why are you acting so strange, All right. old man? Listen to me. Any moment now, our daughter is going to come through that door. And she's going to ask me for help. With an midterm paper, you know, the math. Because seeing that I'm the math brain, and you don't have much. You understand? So she's going to ask me for help on her midterm paper. Watch. Three, two, one. See? Hi, Dad. I'm going to need some help on my midterm paper. How much time I have to talk to you about that dress? And I'll soon come. I'm dealing with your mother. But, Dad! I said I'll soon come! It's really hard, I'm not getting it. I said I'll soon come! Go on to your room! I'll soon come! You guys never have time to talk to me anymore! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you saying? Nothing! <laughs> you need to warn your daughter, you need to talk to her. You see what I'm saying? You see what just happened? You see what I was talking to you about, the negative influence on our <laughs> daughter? If you were being more of a father, so would be behaving like that? What are you saying? You are absent. I, I can't explain it for you to understand. I, I, I just cannot explain it. I don't know what is happening. But I feel like we have this conversation already. Harold, you know, I, I don't know if I can deal with this today. You know? Seriously? Yes. Seriously? I'm very serious. Every day we have to come with the same conversation going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. All right. All right. Okay. Probably it's that salt food again. Uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, I'm not going to prepare anything as fair to eat. You're going to fast and pray and drink tea and water. Honey, it was kind of soft. But all right. Probably it's the season getting to my head. The Christmas season and all. Probably it's that getting to my Lord, head. Lord, he's gone. What do you mean? What season are you talking Christmas about, Christmas season. Christmas is not for another three weeks. Honey, today is December 8th. Christmas is just around the corner. Harold, please go check your calling and stop talking this nonsense. All right, time. okay, fine. What is this Christmas tree doing here? Lord, 
What tree? You're blind. This Christmas tree. What is it doing here? Harold, the Christmas tree is in the yard, in the back of the yard, and there is no Christmas tree right there. I'm staring at a black spot. People, what is this? People, what is that? Nothing, a blank space. What is it? Honey, this is it. Honey, there is nothing there. This is the Christmas tree right there. Honey, you know the... what? I can't deal with this right now. I really can't deal with this right now. Sick and tired of foolishness. Every day I have to be arguing with the man I'm supposed to be in love with. I can't do this right now. But, but this is a tree right there. Carol's second angelic encounter. A visit from the angel of present things. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, that's a beautiful Christmas tree, huh? <laughs> yeah. who, who, who are you? Well, before I even get to that, you see, one of my friends visited you before, right? Yes. All right, well, now I'm here to lay the foundation. What foundation? <laughs> You'll see in a matter of minutes. Now, to answer your question, I am Gabriel. Gabriel. Oh, yes, known in heaven. Never heard of me? No, I've never heard well, of you. Well, then you can call me the angel of present things then. Really? Yes. Well, presently, I was dealing with a matter. Tone down your voice. Like, speak. And I need you to get to hey! What did I say? Do you think I'm afraid of you? Sir. With one snap of my finger, I can crush every single bones. This is my house, and I need you to get out of here. <laughs> okay, okay. What did I say to you? I am sorry. You're what? I am sorry. Let me hear you again. I am sorry. I'm going to listen. I'm that going... key right there, I am sorry. Keep it. Okay. Harold, yes, you are right about one thing. You're right about presently you should be in your room, relaxing, doing whatever you're supposed to do. But, Harold, I have a message just for you. What message? <laughs> in about 10, 5 seconds, who knows? A few seconds from now, you're going to see someone who you love dearly walk by. Now, get on your knees. Oh, on your knees. knees. Okay. Now, stand up. Back on your knees. Good boy. Stand. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Wait. Yes, Harold. Beverly. Tears in her eyes. She can't Be see us. Honey? What do you mean she can't? She's, She's going to the room, I believe, to Honey. try to talk to you. Beverly. Just watch. Is she going to open that door or not? Harold. Why, why is she crying? Harold. Honey. Just watch, Harold. She cannot see you, hear you. You can't even touch her. <laughs> I miss him too, honey. <laughs> Harold, you take this for a joke. <laughs> she blames me for his death. You don't know that for sure. What do you mean? I can see it in her eyes. Harold, what you are seeing right now is a reflection of your very own. You, Harold, blame yourself. But please, watch. God! I've done 
everything I could, God. <laughs> I tried to take him to counseling, God. <laughs> to pray, God. But I do pray. <laughs> to fasting, God. I do fast. And to believe, God. <laughs> She just said she wants to leave you. Leave who? Good, good me. You must say, what? What about our vows? Huh? What about our vows we made on the altar? Harold, let's talk about vows. And remember, tone down your voice. Let's talk about vows, Harold. Okay. At this very altar, you promise to love her through yes. sickness and in health. Yes. For richer and for poorer. Yes. For better and for worse. Mm hmm. To love each other mm -hmm. through good times, mm -hmm. bad times, yes, ups and downs, topsy turvy, and everything. You know everything. What? But Harold, what? You have disrespected her on so many times, so many occasions. Really? Isn't that so? Yes. I don't know what you're talking uh, about, Harold. And before I go any further, what about secrets? I don't keep secrets. In a relationship, from my wife. we shouldn't keep secrets. Stop. I don't keep secrets from my wife. Well, Harold. Harold, the man of the house. Yes, I the am. The man around town. Yes, I am. <laughs> what about that secret bank account in Cayman? Hey, 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 hey. No. That's my business. Stop it. What are you telling everybody my business, man? Um, what about the one in... in... All right, all right. Okay. You don't know how to spend money, so I have to. You know what I mean? Harold, this is what I'm talking about. You are a liar. You are a disrespectful man. But don't want to hear it. Continue to watch as your wife grieves. God, when we said our vows, God, I meant every word of it, God. The two become one, God. But I don't think that I'm supposed to be doing everything by myself, God. I'm supposed to still be getting help, God. In the beginning, he did everything he was supposed to do, God. But one incident, God. One incident, I let him astray, God. And I just can't try anymore, God. I can't do this anymore. I really can't. I just want to have this marriage! Shit. 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 Honey, honey, no, I'm sorry. Harold, I'm sorry. Just watch. What's wrong? Just leave me alone, Samantha. Don't talk to her. Why won't you talk to me? You guys keep shutting me out. What? Mom, talk to me. I know it was just nine when Sean died, but it's. it's Don't even go there, Samantha! Don't go. Don't do what, Mom? Pretend as if you only ever act like you had one child. Listen I'm here to you. Listen to me right no, now! Stop. I'm sick and tired of fooling you to this place! I've been trying to get your father out of the room! And you are not doing any better to help right now! Honey, I just can't do this anymore! I just can't! So you're gonna leave? No, no. Samantha? Samantha. Yeah. Samantha. Samantha. You're right. an angel. Harold. Stop. All I'm telling you is that. Watch. Samantha. That's my pill. Samantha. <laughs> Samantha. <laughs> You're an angel. Stop her. Open. 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 Get the door. Get the door. This is the the angel took Harold face to face with his own reality. What? And the pain I can't. he was causing his family. You see now, Harold. Do you see? But you said. Just leave me alone. Listen. Listen. What? I don't know if I did something to you, but you're clearly upset. I'm not going to leave you like this. Ma, I just don't know how much more of this I can take. How much more of what? Life. Is it not obvious? You have a mother who loves you. Right. right. A father who's actually. <laughs> 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 My father? Had a conversation with me in weeks. No, honey, no, no. He hasn't spoken to me like a proper conversation in years. Might as well he died in the accident. What accident? 
That's what my mom thinks. That's what she thinks. Six years ago, my father took my brother to the mall to get more presents for my grandparents. The road was wet, and they got run off by a drunk driver. And my brother never made it. I have no idea. Right. So is that why your father locks himself away in that room? Not really, no. Yes! He's hiding from Christmas. The family visits, the food, the tree, the, the, the music. He hates hearing Christmas carols. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sam. Yeah, so you envy my life now, huh? Mm -hmm. So, um, what are you gonna do with those pills? Take them away, I please. Think you should go. You Be should quiet. go. Actually, I need your help to get a gift for mom at the mall, please. No. Please come with me. You're you, my friend here. You have a GPS. No, Use it. No, just, just do this for me this, this once. Just this once, please. Please. Fine. Oh. I think I'll take those. Wait, yes. no, no. Yes. Take them. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Wait. Thank you, Jesus. Going too fast. <laughs> Harold, what did, what, did, what did you just say? I am thanking the Lord. <laughs> My daughter. It is so funny. In the times of goodness, in the times of overcome, that's when you give God thanks. What about the bad times, huh? I do, do give. Enough said. So, what are you thinking what I was thinking? Hmm? What if Melissa did not come over? This is dead, right? the work of God. He works in mysterious ways. Thank you, God. Have you ever heard the song? Which He's song? four days late and still on time? I, I don't recall. You don't recall? <laughs> That's a well-known song. I thought you would have known that by now. <laughs> Harold? What? I know at times you feel as if God is not with you. I know. But he's always there. So God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Right. Anyways, now I got another person I need to go save. I don't want to feel as if I'm enjoying my time with you, but I got to go higher. Please remember this day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. such a good idea. I'll come back later. No, 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 no. It's okay. Come and tell me what happened. It's my husband or whatever he's called. What about him now? Beverly wants to come home. You can't deal with this, you know. Uh, you mean like one of his short, rare visits? No, oh. Beverly. Permanently. He wants us to be a family again. That's unexpected, Beverly. I only had him for the first six months of our marriage before he went away. After all these years, I don't know where he has been or who he has been with. And I must just open my door and say, welcome home, honey. How do I do that? Well, you know, I can't refer you to someone. Beverly, I have seen enough shrinks to last me for a lifetime. Every time I think I'm okay and can make my own way, and celebrate my involuntary independence. He does something like this. I can't do this, not now. So, when is he planning on coming? Beverly Christmas Eve. That soon? Beverly, I think I'm going mad. Is there something for that? <laughs> you know, <clears throat> my grandmother used to tell me, you know, when you think you have gone as far as you can, now is the time to pray, Rachel, pray! Pray. Beverly, I haven't prayed in 10 years. I don't God remember who I am. Rachel. <clears throat> you know...
Any suggestion? <laughs> well, you know, our church is having a seminar at church. You know, we're having a seminar, and I wasn't really planning on going, but knowing your little dilemma and my little dilemma, I think we could both go and be supportive. What do you think? Well, what seminar are you talking about? <laughs> well, I think you will like this one. It is for single married women. <laughs> Did you hear what she just said? I have been trying to figure out for here's what this is. And you just said it. I am a single married woman. Yes. You know, we are wearing, we are wearing the finest rings. But the man is missing. But we can't do this on our own, Rachel. We cannot. We have to go together. Now show them your ring, Rachel. Show them the small ring the man gone Canada and leave. Are we? Well, let us go. This small little bit of ring, you know. But then my mine have a size. You see the size? But he's locked up in here. Hurt me heart every day. Beverly, you know, I have been thinking about your little dilemma. Maybe if you stop bringing food to your husband, he may come out of that room somehow. Rachel, you know I tried that last year. And he went on seven days supernatural fast and another seven days in the hospital with almost also stomach. <laughs> At least he never left. I'm not so sure about that, you know. But wait, when did this talk about me now? When, 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 when? Beverly, I'm sorry. You know it's easier to talk about someone else's problem. <laughs> but I don't mean he must take my problem and talk about it. You know how emotional I can get about this. Thing. I'm sorry. I, I hope I didn't wake you, know. Well, I really was asleep and you know, can't, can't sleep much these days. <laughs> At least we have something in common. You know, I've been having some crazy nightmares, Rachel, to think of killing that man of mine in here right now. But it's really? a little mash with and just choking my neck in a man. And I'm actually in a man. Just like this in a man. Beverly! No, you just had to tell me for prayer. But you know, I, I, I've been having the same thing going on with me, you know. I can't sleep either. Rachel, sometimes prayer can help these men, you know. You have to do some lift up all for them, you know, man, Rachel. You have to lift them up, you know, Rachel. So, so, so what you're saying now, Beverly? I think we... I won't express myself anymore. I'll go and pray about it. Sure, that's a good idea. But, seeing that you're here, and I am here, what do you think about us going to make some breakfast? That sounds like a good idea. You know, cooking, it usually take my mind off stuff. Yeah, man, good idea. So, let's go to the kitchen. Sure. You know, you've been in my house almost every day. And I don't really know anything about you, you know. <laughs> so what is it that you do for a living? Beverly, I'm a nurse. So you like being a nurse? Sometimes, most of the time. What do you do? Well... <laughs> I'm a... I am a teacher. <laughs> at the... Infant school that my husband is a principal at. Oh, I see. You know, I, I think about teaching a few times. And <laughs> Beverly, not with this generation of kids. I've been to deal with that some Melissa, you see. It, it, it's scary. And and to be in the same room with 25 to 40 kids, it scares a daylight out of me. <laughs> Rachel, I'm telling you, you know. 
before I went to college, I wish somebody would have said, do not go. <laughs> Don't go. Because these children nowadays, man, I tell you. But then my grandmother used to say, it's piece of rope that used to beat her with it. Right now it's broomstick. Machete and everything, everybody coming with it. But you see, because you can't lick them nowadays, everybody have both. But Beverly, everybody slamming door in your face. I thought this, this question was about me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. But sing, let's go make the breakfast. Sure, let's go. Because my husband of mine is hungry, see? You need to starve him. Ever hungry. You need to starve him. Look here. Mind your fall down. Don't. Mind it. Mind it. A peek into Harold's future. 20 years into the future, where things are not what Harold expects them to be. Mike, come on here. Locking yourself in the room every day. Is that kid? Come out here, you know. Come. What do you want, kid? Harold, come out here now. Uh, you know anybody knows us? Uh, mm. <laughs> kid, what do you want? Look at you. Looking good as a whole man. Are you hiding in that room? You have to enter your house for yourself. What do you mean? Where is Beverly and Samantha? You take your, you take your pills from morning? You take your pills? Go, 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 go. What do you mean pills? What pills? Kate! Mighty God! Kate! I am well! Harold! Where are your medication? What medication? Where are the medication, man? I am not on any pills. Come. You know I can't keep going over this all the time, though. What do you do? You no. come with the, with, 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 with the money. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. He, what was so urgent you wanted to talk to me about? Come, have a seat. I don't want to sit down, man. Use it. Okay. What is it? This thing getting so frustrated. You don't take your pills from morning or what? Keith, what do you? Where is my wife and child? Wife? Yes. Harold, your wife left you 15 years ago. What? She has been married. What? Two children. What? Living a luxurious life what? over in Italy. What are you saying? You, you must be crazy. Over Italy. She left good, good me. I don't know about that. No, man. No, no, no. I don't know about that, but she gone. What is? What do you want? What is going? Wait. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not the angel of future things? Before you go to angel, like, oh, angel, no, not at all. Did you hear about your daughter Samantha? What happened to? What about my daughter? Samantha committed suicide 17 years ago. Really? Really? 17 years. Sorry. Your dad, my daughter. Sorry about your loss. Sorry about your loss. Harold. <laughs> she really did it, kid. She really did it. Say, Harold. Harold. Look at me. I'm talking to you. What is it? What are you say, Joseph? She really did it. So you mean to tell me you know she was going to kill herself? Uh, kid, I can't. Wait. You come back with the same something again. Are you sure you're not the angel of future things? Harold, no angel. I'm your lawyer. Lawyer? Yes. I know mean, you're a liar, but why do I need a lawyer? I'll explain that in a few. Just calm down. See? Right now, the foreclosure of your house have now been complete. Foreclosure? Yes. I just need you to sign a few documents down at page 7. And the left hand corner right there at the X, just put your signature. Wait, wait. The, the, the item not so good. I... Get it, get your glasses. Get your glasses. Just sign it right there. Let me read. Let, let me read what the paper says. 
Oh, I'm going to sign a paper and I don't read what it is saying. Sign it, I'll sign it. Why are you rushing me to sign the paper, kid? All right, take your time. My house. Everyone sign it, people, everyone sign it. I am not signing it. Why am I selling my house? Why am I selling my house? Selling house? No, not at all. Errol, listen to me. I'm your, I'm your lawyer. But guess what? You, you, listen to me, Errol. I need you to listen. I am listening. Your house has been repossessed since you have quit your job. Repossessed? Possessed? Hey, God, Bishop. Oh, my house is possessed. Errol. The blood of Jesus. My house cannot be possessed. Errol. No. The blood. The blood. Errol. Come down. My house cannot be possessed. Errol. Come down. Come to my down. house possessed. My house cannot be possessed. Sit down. My house cannot be possessed. Errol. You need to pray. Pray, kid. Pray. How comes my house possessed? Who possessed my house? Tell Who possessed my house? Let me explain it in fine details for explain, you. Explain Just to me. Just sit down. All right, I'm sitting, I'm sitting. I'm I'll sitting. explain this in explain fine details me. for you. Your house has been repossessed by the bank. Wait. Since you have quit your job, locking in that room, Wait. could not be able to pay your job. So the bank sent me here for you to sign this document. I just needed to sign it and I will be over here. No, I'm no, paper, kid. I am not signing it. Tell you what, never mind. I, I, I'll go. And, yes. Uh, I probably check back or you. you wait, 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 kid. No, wait, that's wait, all right. Wait, 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 you wait, come wait, home wait. and can't go in your house. Well, I'll change the lock. Well, I'm kids. I am just trying to make sense of all this. Sense? Yes. Do you hear sense? Sense? Yes. yes, kid. So why didn't you try to make sense out of all this? When you're the perfect home, a perfect wife, perfect daughter, instead of end up losing what you had, me, 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 and right me. now you're about to lose this house. Maybe I was not strong enough like the others, kid. Uh -huh. There you go. You know, when it comes on to strength, I must tell you, strength... You need me as much as I need you. What, what, what do you we were not created to live in isolation, Errol. What, what, what? Keith, Keith, wait. Yes. You say you're my liar. Yes. But right now, you sound like a marriage counselor. Never Did mind. my wife put you up to this, Keith? Never mind. No wife. Not wait. at all. I'm leaving. Where is my wife and child, Keith? Take your hands off me, Errol. No. Take. No. Not Errol. until you tell me where they are. Errol, take, no. take your hands off me. What do you mean? No. No. Sit down, sit down. Take your hands off me, you crazy old man. Really? I used to send you to school. Call and me. This is what you do. Call me when you find yourself in your right man. You crazy. Get out of my house. That's all right. Get out of my house. And leave him. Get out. I used to send you to school every minute. Uncle Harrell, Uncle Harrell. Get out of my house, boy. Get out. Out of order. Hey. Every minute. Hey. Uncle Harrell, Uncle Harrell. Get out of my house. Get out! Wait! If this is a dream, why didn't I wake up on the couch like all the rest of time? Hey, where are you, Angel? Where are you? Where are you? I know you are here somewhere. I know it. I know it. A visit. A visit from the angel of future things. He's here somewhere. He's here somewhere. Your arrogance is very appalling. You better look at me. What, what do you hope to gain from all of this? Huh? What do you hope to gain from all of this? I stand to gain nothing, old man. Really? Yes. Okay, good. Have a seat. Pay attention. Who is that? Go away, man. Go away. Jesus. Wait. Me. Oh, hallelujah. When I was sick. Bishop. No more to be. Harold, what do you want, Bishop? Uh, 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 let me sit down. And there was no way. I, I did not invite you in my house, Bishop. Harold, sit down. Uh, uh, I can't 
can't stand it no longer. I be walking. For what do you want? Years. What do you want? <laughs> Bishop, what was it? Bishop, this is a Bishop. Bishop, my good man, my good. All right. I did eat some egg earlier, so it, it reached my system right now. Hello, uh, Merry Christmas, sir. Christmas? How are you? Christmas? Y yes. It is now Christmas? Uh, 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 April, February, September, August, November, December. Yes, I just checked it. December. Very good. To be merry, huh? Very good. I'm uh, glad it is Christmas. Mm -hmm. I have a present for you. Yeah, what, what's that? Yeah, yeah. Get out of my house. Hurry. Get out. Hurry. You, you, you never brush your teeth. No. Me no. Me no. Sit, sit down. I need to get out of my house. Before. Hurry. Hurry. Sit down. What I, do you want? I have an important message. What do you want? I was compelled by the Holy Ghost to come visit you for the past few weeks. But I, I couldn't walk fast enough. Okay. Why? Me? Why be sure? Hara, you haven't been to church in a long time. Can you turn your back from God? Bishop, I was just in church last week Sunday. Lies! Oh God, mature. Lies, Hara! You haven't been to church in 18 years! Wait! Bishop, are you saying that I'm a backsider? Just like down! Hara! And I know you've been too lot, but Hara! You can never, let me say it again, never, never would have made it. Bishop, without God, you can never turn your back from our loving God. Loving God? Yes. You call him a loving God? No, oh, Jesus. There is nothing loving about a God who gives and takes. Horror. He took my son away from me. Horror. And apparently, he took my wife and child. Nothing loving. Horror. Nothing loving. Look, my blessing. Can you, horror? Give what he gave. I have heard enough. I have heard enough, Bishop. Her, I have heard enough. You have the perfect upper. You have the perfect upper. Mm, what's that word? Bishop. Uh, How long me know you? And you still can't pronounce that one word. Mm, your principal, tell me. Opportunity, to Bishop. Opportunity. Right. You have the perfect opportunity to really commit yourself to God. Bishop. I am not interested. Hold I on. am not interested. Hold on. Please, please think about it. Okay. Thank you. I'll think about it. <sighs> I have think about it. Now get out of my house. Hold on. All right, fine. Help me out. Please, get out of my house. <laughs> out of I did not think like it. <laughs> get out of my house, Bishop. Ooh, 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 ooh. You've always, you know, always was a corn, you not company, but always you rather solitude. That's the word. Over company. Very good. You remember when you told me that my face? Couple years ago. Way, way, way back. I don't recall, Bishop. Very good. No, get out of my house. Get out of my house, Bishop. Hold on. Get out of my house. Hold on, hold on. What is it now? Life is short, Harold. I know, Bishop. And I've lived a no one. Me too, Bishop. Harold, and I know one thing with God. He is working everything for your good. I have heard you, Bishop. Get out. Harrell, yeah. hold on. Harrell, we don't know how long we have left on this earth. I know, Bishop. Could be 10 seconds. Yes. 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 10 days. Get out. 10 hours. Get out, Bishop. 10 months. Get out, Tommy Hope. Harrell, Bishop, Harrell I don't want to see you the next time. And you're dead, Harrell. Please. Yes, I have heard you, Bishop. Harrell, get out, Tommy Hope. Oh. I need some peace and quiet. Harrell, be, 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 get out, Tommy Hope. Hold on, hold on. You need to remember by the, the fluoride toothpaste here. He? It, it will help your teeth then. Fluoride. Okay. Yes, very yes. good. All right. Ready to use it. Get All out of my house. No. Get out of my house, Bishop. Ha, ha, All right. I have heard. Tell your sister, push me. I have heard enough. I'll go Get out. All right. Goodbye, my friend. All right. Get out. My name is Major. Get out of my house. Hey, baby. My God, man. I can't take him. I can't take him, man. Every year, every time. I have never heard anything. I can't take him, man. Yeah, oi! Help me, help! Huh? Bishop! Malcolm! Come back! Ah! Malcolm! Uh. Aaron! Aaron! Aaron, let me go! Aaron! 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 Hey! We 
you good? Oh, Jesus. Harold! No, eh, first thing we have to leave, because police might come and think that me do it. Help me now. Harold! Harold! Me didn't tell you, Harold! Me didn't tell you! <laughs> I'm going to tell you, so next time you see him, I might be dead. Six men bringing you back to the preacher. Six men bringing you back, Harold. Oh, God. Harold, you were warned, but not this time. Not this time, Harold. Not this time. Harold receives a holy visitation, a visit from the King of Kings. Jesus Christ! You call us now. Wait. Wait, Mike. What, 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 what just happened? You've just crossed over, Mike. Cross over? Two years. Have it? Yes, I John! Yes, sir. John! <laughs> nice to meet you, my boy. How are you? Look, good man. I brought him to say goodbye. Goodbye? Yes. Why goodbye? He has been waiting on you. His mom and sister. He has been up broken to know his sister committed suicide, condemning her own soul in hell. He's even more broken now that you choose not to be where we are. Really? But I want to be with him, lad. No, conditions apply. Only those who believe in me can be where we are as well. I am sorry. I know. I am sorry. It is too late. Too late. Come, Sean. No, it no, is too late. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. One minute. One minute, please. Please. Just answer me this one question. Just answer me this one question, lad. Why give us children, then take them away so quickly? Huh? Why? If I didn't, there'd be no children in heaven. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Harold! What is it? Stand to your feet! What do you want? No. Calm down, what, Harold! What do you want? Calm down, Harold! Every choice you make of a significant outcome on your future. Harold, I say this once. Harold, remember. Harold, remember. Forgotten to tell you. Oh, he called this morning. Said his flight was delayed. Bad weather. So he's really coming? Apparently. Hmm. You know, you seem a whole lot calmer than you were a few days ago, you know. Well, you know, Beverly, I got a word at that seminar we went to the other night. 
put it in the hands of God and leave it there. So Beverly, I'm just doing that. See that you went home and did some prayer? <laughs> you know, yes I did. <laughs> wait, wait, Anna not finished? Honey. Why are taking forever? Honey, these things take time. But don't worry, we're almost finished. Let me just spread this thing right here. Let me get it for you, Beverly. Let me get it for you, man. <laughs> mm. Oh, Jesus. Lord Beverly, I think I was better than you. You can't find where to put it, not true. Not at all, Beverly. My you guys God. Need help. There it goes, there it goes, yes. Don't worry, sweetheart. That's it! Yes. That's it. You know, right. is everybody ready? Yes! yes. Uh, are we expecting anybody? Oh, wait. You know it's just pastor. He finally come around for dinner. Hello, Sister Samantha. Hey, pastor. Uh, um, I found this box outside says net chicks. You mean flicks? Oh, right. Net flicks. That's for you. Beverly. Hey, Bishop. Well, come on in. Oh. I'm so nice to see you. How are you doing, Bishop? Mm, I'm great. I can smell cooking and I can see happy faces <laughs> and all of that wonderful thing. Um, but can I have a word with you in private, please? Sorry, baby. Sorry, no problem, Bishop. No problem. Mm, don't mind us. Listen to me. I know you are coming. Don't worry. Just go around the back. It is in the microwave waiting on you. Don't worry yourself. Just go right around there. It's Beverly, right there. Thank you so much. You are so welcome, Bishop. Good to God. Yeah, so who ordered Netflix movies? My account's terminated, so it's not me. Well, I didn't. I didn't know. Um, well, they appear to be Christmas movies. This one's the Christmas Carol starring Jim Carrey. Wow. This is a good remake of a genuine classic. You know I watch it every Christmas. For real? Yes. Mm. So, if, if we didn't rent it, then who did? Yeah, for real, who did? Mm. With his numerous encounters, I don't know. And unexpected visitations. For Harold, these were transformational. He may not be able to explain it all, but certainly he has become a new man with new perspectives and a new heart. I did. <gasps> Do you know what day today is? Yes. <clears throat> today is Christmas Day. Christmas morning, actually. Is it real? Today is the day that our son Sean was taken away from us in that tragic accident. But, guess what? I was partially to be blamed for that. And also, honey, today is the day that our Lord Jesus Christ came into this world. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you, honey. Sorry, baby. Yes. So I've got a lot to give thanks for. Am I dreaming? No, honey. Somebody yeah, wake no, me up! Somebody wake me up! Wake me up. Wake me up. Wake me up. I wake me up! Honey, this is not a dream. I'm pretty sure this is real. Wait. Oh my. I am seeing some new faces. Oh, my. Sorry, honey. These are our new neighbors. This is, this is Rachel, and that is her daughter, Melissa. Oh. Nice to meet you, Rachel. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, Mary. Nice Wait. Bishop! <laughs> Bishop. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too, Harold. Still eating, I'm seeing. Still out of that. <laughs> How is everything? All is well, you know. Yeah. I'm happy to see you. Last time we, um, you know, I don't recall, but <laughs> honey, 
Bishop? I believe, I, I, I believe you're trying to say I owe you money? No, 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 no. Oh. Bishop, seems like you're eating my wife oxtail. It's the best. And I don't know how comes you are so blessed to have a woman like that. I know. Can As I get an a amen? Country cooking. <laughs> Whatever you say, brother. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I have some matters to deal with. Take handy business. Sit on the table. We'll soon come. Around the table. Bishop. I thought you know better. I know you, know man. Your principal. No, no, no. Believe. Enjoy. I will. Eat whatever you want. Wait, not my ice cream. No, no wait. Go ahead, Bishop. No, wait. Why would you say that? It's okay. It's okay. Eat whatever I want. I well, eat the whole plate. For some reason, these new faces, I seem feel like I... Baby, don't no. even go there right now, you know. Isn't this... Baby, don't even... What I said, don't continue, man. I'm just saying it seems like I've known them a while now. Well, we practically just been outside your door. Very good. Anyway, I am starved. Can you go and eat now? Yes. I'm pretty hungry. But wait, baby. Eh? You know, we were just about to light up the Christmas tree. The cri May I? Sure, baby. Wow. You guys decorated this one. This look really lovely. Merry Christmas, everyone. Woo! Yay! Yes. You know what? Beautiful. We yes. will go set the table. Yes, go and set the table. Samantha, hold on. Carol, what happened to you? Honey. I'm not used to. I'm not used to this. I've been having some weird dreams, and I'm have some new perspective. I don't know that our son Sean is in a better place, and we will see him again soon. Conditions apply. Oh uh, God. Really didn't have to take him so early. He was just a child, Harold. If God did not take him, there would be no children in heaven. You have a point, you know. You have a point. And guess what? Our daughter Melissa, Samantha. I forgot that Melissa, the one that miscarried. Yes. Samantha. <laughs> Samantha here. She is going to get married soon. Wait, and what? leave us alone in this house. Dad! Come on, you know I'm right. You! You're going to get married one day. So, I miss you guys and I love you guys and I don't know what I will do without you. Let's go and eat. It's Christmas month and I'm pretty hungry. You know, honey, I am so happy to see you. I am happy to see you guys too. Nice to see you coming out of that hole around there. Yes. I, I... Wait, are we expecting someone else? No. Wait, honey, are you talking to someone in Italy? Well, you know. I went to school with this guy. I'm coming. And I mean, like, listen to me. I tell you, hey, listen to me. We have become best of friends. Listen to me, honey. All of your social media, I want them deleted. As of now. What? So what am I going to use, baby? As of now, me and you alone. Text. Me and you alone. Right. Everything. Me and you alone. Say that. Me and you alone. Yes. Me and you alone. Me and you alone. Yes. Me and you alone. Yes. All right, baby. You go, I'm coming. You go get the door. Yes, I'm going to go get the door to our process. guests. Oh, can I help you? Good afternoon. Is this the residence of Mr. Harrell? Yes, I'm Mr. Harrell. Oh, may I be invited, please? No problem. Come in. Thank you, sir. Let's go over here and have a talk. Afternoon. Please sit. I'll stand. How can I help you guys? All right. So, you know, sir, it's been five, six years, right? Mm-hmm. Something's been weighing on my heart. Really? Really. Like, every Christmas? It just has me in my emotions. Really? Wait, hold on a minute. You're Charlie. Yeah, yes, but how do you know my name? You took my son away from me six years ago in that car accident. Yes, 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 yes. I, I was so old no. to get you. Listen, listen. And you're right I'm here. here. I'm here for forgiveness. Forgiveness? Right? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Guess what, man? It's Christmas. It's Christmas. I'll forgive you. You forgive me? My son is in a better place right now. Forgive me, man. Forgive me. And this is your beautiful wife. Yes. Our dear. Oh my God, baby. Who was at the door? Who was at the door? Honey, guess what? Look who it is. This is Charlie. This you are Honey. 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 Wait. Fish up. Fish up. Honey. Honey. Honey, Honey wait, wait. Wait! Hold on! Wait! 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 Honey! Wait! 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 What is happening? Bishop, this is the gentleman who killed 
or a son? Honey! I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Beverly, don't leave Beverly. Beverly! Beverly! It's okay, it's okay. Honey! Calm down, Beverly. Calm down. Hold on. I'm back. Honey, listen to me. It's Christmas morning. This is the season to be married. I have forgiven him. You need to let go and forgive him as well. No, it's not easy. It's not easy, Michelle. You need to forgive him, honey. Come here. Let's go and talk to them. Please forgive him. On this blessed Christmas morning, please, honey. Please forgive him. I have forgiven them. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Honey, please. Honey. Beverly, Beverly, Beverly. Honey. I have forgiven. Honey, please. Wouldn't you want God to forgive you? <laughs> okay. Please, honey. Please. Honey. I got it, Harold. I got it. God is good to you. You said you forgive him. Anyway, guys, hey, hey. welcome, welcome to my family. Welcome to my family. Guys, please to welcome our guests. This is Charlie and Dordia. They will be joining us for dinner tonight. Come After you, honey. Don't worry about that, baby. We, 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 are you sure? Yes, we are sure. Don't worry. You're going to be joining us. And Bishop will be praying for us. So no, you're okay. Very good. Very hungry. <laughs> Very good. So hello, 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 hello. We're going to pray first. I said, put it down. Reach out. Honey. Reach out. You do not touch on this until we say grace. But you never uh, uh, <laughs> I am the pastor. Let's hold hands. <clears throat> Can we all stand, please? Yes. Have some reverence in this place. Amen. Jesus. All right, we're going to close our eyes and bow our heads. God, we thank you. Thank you for your love and your forgiveness. Thank you for your patience, your peace that you've given unto us this Christmas. God, food is up in front of us. We're going to partake and enjoy and scrumptious, delicious, most beautiful meal. More watering. Oh. Yes, yes, Harold. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hey, 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 hey. Hi. Hi. Get out of my house! Go, man, sit down. One, two. <laughs> when there was... What do you want? 
Mike up for that chip in that boat. Ain't no long me up. Ain't gonna reach ya. Oh, oh glory. Hallelujah. Hey, how do that? How are you? How are you? Pot, 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 my man is around. I was it? How are Pardon my man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was <wasn't> expecting that. <laughs> when you reach my age, anything can happen, Harold. You're right. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Harold. Merry Christmas. Who are you? No one that think this up, boy. Opportunity! Opportunity, Bishop! Opportunity! Right, 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 right! You have the perfect opportunity! The story coming to serve back to God! Yo! That's it, you're gonna be so funny! Alright. Funny! Woo! Wait, hold on a minute. I, I was excited. so far my guys to see you. I know you're excited to I see me. I'm falling and I can't get up. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> don't hurt yourself. Harold, I'm coming in, okay? Just watch this, guys. Harold. Didn't I just say to go away? Why do you need better this time? Eat? Why didn't you eat? What? I said get out of my house. Harold, get out. 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 Get